Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Hacks Flixel on a Chromebook. Please take note that this is only a guide on how to install it, this is not a tutorial on how to use it. For that, you will need to do additional research. Firstly, we will enable Linux apps on our device. To do this, we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section in the left panel. Click on the Developer section. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next step, which is to install VS Code. We will use it to code with hacks. To do this, we will download the VS Code Deb installer from the official website. Now we will open the installation package in the file manager. Right click on the package and install it with Linux apps. VS Code is now installed. Now we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal, which will install Hacks Flixel. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift, and V together. This command will update our Linux apps repositories. Now we will install Hacks. Press enter to confirm the installation. Now that Hacks is installed we will install and configure Hacks.lib. To do this we will run the following six commands as seen in the video. Press enter to choose the default location for Haxalib.
Press Y. Press Enter. Press Y. Press Enter. Choose Option 3 for Visual Studio. Press Enter. Press Y. Press Enter. Haxalib is now installed and configured. Now we will run the next command to make sure that Hax is set up. In the future please run the next commands to keep Haxalib up to date. We will do it now as an example. Now we will create a template file which we will launch in VS Code. Now we will open VS Code. Go to the extension section. Search for Lime. Install it. Now you will see that the Hacks extension was also installed. Now we will open the hacks template. Enjoy! We attach some links which you can read and study to learn how to use this programming tool.